Hello there guys and welcome to this video and I'm going to be showing you how to install Linux and that's the Ubuntu build onto your computer. Okay so in this uh, edition I'm using uh, Ubuntu to install on a virtual machine. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. I'm using version 11.04. Uh, I am aware that there's a later version, uh, 12.10, I think it is. I'll have a look. Um, I have to go to download. It's uh, 12.04, sorry. Um, 12.10 is the beta version at the minute. So to download it, you need to just go to ubuntu.com. It's completely free. Uh, uh, click on download. Ubuntu desktop and select your version of Ubuntu 32 or 64 bits and click start download. Now that will download uh, an ISO file uh, similar to this. Okay, so you can see here it's a disk image file, ISO, and you'll need to burn that to a CD if you're uh, installing, installing it on a physical machine. If you're installing it virtually, you probably won't need to, although it's optional. Um, okay, so uh, I'm using that file there. Okay, so I'm using VMware 9. And okay, if we go into a new virtual machine, I click custom, uh, workstation 9. Uh, you need to tell it, well, you can't optionally tell it. Um, where are we now? Uh, yeah. Others, Linux, there we go. So it'll say Ubuntu 11.04 detected, uh, or your or the version that you're that you're running. Okay, and click next. You can install it um, by saying uh, you'll install it later. So either way, so I'll, I'll do the um, easy install for now. Or I won't actually because it will skip parts out. Okay, so I'll install the operating system later. Linux, we're running Ubuntu next, and we're running Ubuntu 11.04. Okay, so on this machine I'm going to set up uh, one with a dual core processor and give it 2 gigs of memory. Okay, I'll use bridge networking for now. Greater virtual hard disk, 20 gig, we'll call that 60 gig for now. Okay, so you'll now see that if we go into customize hardware, it says uh, 2 processor, 2 gig of memory. And also the CD drive will now need to put in. Tell it that we're going for the Ubuntu ISO image. Okay, we click finish, and that will create the uh, Ubuntu um, sort of oper operating system uh, virtual disk uh, virtual, virtual machine, should I say? Uh, on there, okay. So you can see it says CD DVD using M other blah blah blah. That's just where the ISO file is located for me. Okay, so if we power on the virtual machine, give that a set to power on. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and if we click enter, we can now see that uh, once it boots off the disk, we can click on English, and you have a couple of options. You can try Ubuntu without installing, install Ubuntu, check disk for defects, test memory, and boot from first hard disk. Now you can try Ubuntu without installing, uh, but that won't be very fast because it's running off the CD. Uh, what you should do is go and install Ubuntu. Okay, so we need to press enter at that at that stage. Uh, wait, give it a sec. There we go. So it should now say Ubuntu. Okay, I'm just putting it full screen. And that'll take a few seconds to load. Okay then, so here we are at the install wizard. Uh, we click on English, uh, unless you're from anywhere else. Else. Okay, so it, it'll go through a set of uh, things you need to have to install Ubuntu. You need to have at least four gig, point four gig available drive space. It needs to be plugged into a power source. So if you're installing it on a laptop, it'll make you plug in the battery first, and it should be connected to the internet. Okay, so you can tick download updates while installing. I'm going to leave that off, but I would tick install third-party third software. So uh, that will install like MP3 plugins and 
things like that. So if we go on next or forward, it's called. Okay, so it says allocate drive space. This computer has no op operating, sy operating systems. If you do have an operating system such as Windows 7, um, it can split it in half uh, and use Ubuntu on one half of the hard disk and Windows on the other half of the hard disk. It it'll work that out by itself. Okay, but at the minute we're going on empty hard disk, so uh, we can install Ubuntu. Uh, so see, it says 60 gig, 64 gig, and it's going to use the whole disk. So it's going to say the entire disk will be used, and then we can install now. Okay, so this will take uh, quite a while. Now, one of the things in Ubuntu is that it basically makes you set it up while it's still installing. So here I am in Lon in London. I'm going to say London now for some reason. In London, uh, forward. Okay. Uh, we're from the United Kingdom, United Kingdom, so you can test your keyboard. Okay, so next, and it'll say, Who are you? Now you just tell it who you are. So it says your name, your computer's name. Now it detects whether it's been installed in a virtual machine, which is quite clever. So it calls it that. If, it, if you say you're installing it on a laptop it'll say Ben's notebook or something like that okay and then obviously depends what you install it on to what it will call itself but you can go ahead and change that um, to what you want but I'm going to leave it as it is now so I'm going to call this one tech tips oops I'll just get rid of the capitals I'll give it a password Okay, tell it to log in automatically or require the password. Uh, just going to give it in, require the password. Okay, so this will take a little while uh, while it installs Ubuntu. Uh, obviously, if you're installing it in a virtual machine, it will be quite a bit quicker because it can access the ISO from the hard disk quicker than it can from the CD-ROM. And we can see that here that it's given us a few things that we can scroll through to pass the time. Okay. Let's say thank you for installing Ubuntu. Now I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when the install is finished. Okay then, so the installation has reached the end and we can now click on restart. And this will reboot the computer as it says and it will now boot into the Ubuntu operating system. Okay. And it will say move the installation media and press enter. Okay, so we take the disk out and it will restart. Now this version of Ubuntu has the uh, Unity interface. Uh, that's a new way to use Linux. Um, I'll show you in a minute when, when it boots up. Let's have to give it a sec. Now Linux is obviously a free alternative. Uh, Ubuntu is. Um, uh, and it's just an alternative to Windows. <laughs> Okay, so now we can log into the Tech Tips virtual machine, uh, Ben's Tech Tips. So we type in the password. Okay, so now I'll say you can't run Unity. Okay, then, so we're now in the uh, Ubuntu uh, operating system, and it's all uh, all the drivers are installed. And it's all working perfectly, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Uh, okay, so basically, in this version of Ubuntu, you have uh, the Unity, which is sort of like a, a new sort of user interface uh, rather than the old one. In case you've got, obviously, you can launch your Firefox web browser. And uh, when that loads, there we go. Uh, and we've got media apps, internet apps, more apps, find files, blah blah blah. Okay, so you've got your software center. Um, what I'm going to be doing is, this is part one to this video, if um, you want to see part two please click, click the link below and in that video I'll be showing you some of the features of Ubuntu. Okay so thanks for watching this video, uh, please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Please check out, check out my new Facebook page at facebook.com slash bentechtips and before you go remember to tell me whether you'd rather have Ubuntu rather than Windows or, or Mac. Um, 
and what you think are the good and the bad points of uh, Linux. Okay, so thanks for watching my video.